You just stay with me and I'm going to really help you understand SQL to the nth degree. We're going to start off with the very basics and build slowly until you are an expert. Now take a look at this query here. It says select asterisk from student table. And then you can see the report where student ID, last name, first name, class code and grade point were delivered and all the rows of the report came back. After the word select, my friends, you will see columns on the report. And when you see an asterisk, you're saying, I want all columns in the table on my report from the student table. After the word from will be the table you want to pull the information from. Here's another example of a great query on the student table. Take a look at this. We can list the columns after the word select, and we've got first name, comma, last name, comma, class code, comma, grade point. And that's exactly how the report came out. So remember, after the word select, all you're going to have are the columns on the report you want to see. Now, take a look here at the bottom. In the first example, we're going to have all of the commas in the back. No problem. But even better, if you really want to be better, you put your commas in the front because it's easier to spot mistakes. It's going to have the same performance. It's not going to be any difference with the results, but it's a little better professionalism if you put the commas in the front, but you do it how you're comfortable. Sometimes you'll have errors in your SQL, and if you have your commas in the front, it's easier to find any errors. Plus, sometimes you'll add or remove columns in your SQL, and it'll error because the commas were in the back. It's a lot easier to comment out a line. If the commas are in the front, it's never going to be a problem for you. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out CoughingDW.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.